No, that's that's enough. Let's go. Let's go back to game. Game times. Game times. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so I have some leftover clues, like this thing. I st I have no idea what the Canadian Pacific Railroad is. Uh. Peter Carey was trying to conceal the murder of John Nelligan's father. Um, right. Uh, well, okay, so here's the thing. Nelligan has motive. And his notebook was at the scene. And I still don't know what his notebook means. It's full of, like, code. Um, and then... Uh, Gardner... But the thing with Nelligan is, like, could he have done it? I don't think he could do it by himself. I don't think he could have thrown that spear. Gardner... Maybe... Um, the two of them together, maybe. Uh, Harpooner definitely could have done it, but didn't really have a motive. I mean, he didn't like uh, the the dude, but like he wasn't gonna kill him. Um. So, so yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can figure this shit out. Um, let's go back here. I just want to, I'm going to look around the shed see if there's anything uh, CPR related. That I can tell. And then I, could, I guess I could go talk to Lestrade about it? Maybe he knows something? Navigation tools. Oh, navigation. Yeah, nothing interesting. Nothing interesting is right. Um, the sea unicorn. She was the ship. Yeah. Rum. Only sailors drink rum. I get it. I get it. Super sure what to make of any of this. I can go in here again. What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Not really. Pretty much nothing. Okay, she is still crying. Leave me alone, please. Alright, well, it's not here. Uh, Baker Street. Okay, Watson, do you have any ideas? You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? Uh, not really. 
One sec, guys. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer? I mean, he's got means, but not motive. Although his pouch was there at the scene. So he could have helped. Maybe he helped the banker's son. I kind of like that. I have no proof of it. But I kind of like it. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. No. Listen. Map. Map? A map of London and the surrounding area. It could no, be useful. Not really. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. That's right. <gasps> That's right. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm a little bit at a loss, everybody. Not. Not Sherlock in my best homes here. Uh. So, okay. The victim was a bad guy. Years ago, he committed a murder. Uh, specifically, he murdered this banker. Banker's son uh, left a notebook at the scene of the crime. Also left at the scene of the crime was a tobacco pouch belonging to the one person who witnessed the victim's previous murder. So, scenario, uh, the harpooner and the banker's son get together at some point, becomes clear that this dude uh, murdered banker's son's dad. The two of them together go and exact revenge weird part is that that's weird first of all second of all seems like the victim was expecting somebody like it was somebody that he knew though that's not necessarily true also, he did know the harpooner, so maybe it was the harpooner. Maybe the harpooner was there, like, what's up, saying hello, and then uh, also, like, I wish I could figure out what that notebook meant, but I am not allowed to interrogate this guy anymore. Hey, Lestrade. How is the investigation going, Mr. Rhodes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? I don't know. Do I? No, that's the... Oh, wait. Is the body in the morgue? Can I get any more information down here? No. Okay. All right. No information. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Um Okay, but maybe you have though? Do, how do I, what do I do next?
John Nelligan seems not to be a usual thief. What is his role in all that? Can I use this? What am I doing here? I've done nothing now, wrong. All I can do is talk. Mr. Holmes? Well, shit. I'm not saying another word. I don't know why not. Okay, there's apparently nothing in there. That's the morgue. This is the staff room. That's the evidence room. These are the suspect's belongings. Right. Yeah. Okay. These are the suspect's belongings. This has not been fully examined. I wonder if these are connected. Okay. Oh, shit. What? Oh, CPR. Oh. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. 8532. That Nelligan's papers were indeed here. What papers? A stub of bond certificates found in the cabin proves certificates for the companies listed in Nelligan's notebook had once been there. Oh, right. Yes, okay. Uh, so, um, Black Peter murdered a banker for a tin box full of bonds, valuable papers. Still has them for some reason. Uh, keeps them in his shed. They were stolen when he was murdered. Some of them were stolen? How'd they end up in the... in the ship's log? Stolen valuable papers kept inside the stolen tin box. Okay, retrieving the notebook, stolen valuable papers. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. That's... True. Okay, can I go back to clues? Uh, okay, that's... Uh, uh, it's been confirmed that Liam Hurtley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife, even fell in love, but didn't go beyond the affectionate and harmless letters and words. Okay, so that uh, Hurtley's presence at Woodman's Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection towards Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. Okay, sweet. Yep, that sounds right. Um, okay, and then the missing papers. Oh, interesting. What? Breaking attempts were made in order to recover a notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. No, I did, I did this. Nelligan was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. It explains his presence at the scene of the murder. He might not have even been there. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Possible. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murderer, either by physical or psychological description. Certainly not physical. So let's say that for the moment, because that fits to this thing. 
Let me just see. If I change that to guilt, and then change this to lucky throw, does that do anything? No. If I change that... Okay, so if all of these things are true, then it makes sense that Nelligan is guilty. But if I say that requires a feat of strength, it's not necessarily true. Okay, all right. What if I do that? Feet of strength. Okay, so stolen valuable papers. Feet of strength. Pouch proves guilt. Oh, shit. Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Carnes. Carnes is a professional harpooner. His tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin. His cold-blooded murderer has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey and must be punished. He's hard up. He needs money. Whaling's not going so well anymore. He knows that Peter Carey murdered this dude several years ago in order to steal something valuable from him. And maybe knows that he still has that valuable thing. Oh. Alright, so wait, hold on. What if I do this? What if I go around this again? No, not, not killed. Nelligan is guilty. Uh proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was at the scene of the murder um he must be punished or he's the victim of circumstance his childhood was overshadowed by the loss of his father he always dreamed of a reunion to find out what happened he made a poor decision and so fell into trouble well shit interesting Okay, so I, I've got two, let's see, conclusions, oh, okay. You've built two different conclusions from now on. You can quickly s switch between them in the conclusions menu, something, something, something. Got it. Neato, all right, let me look at this again. That's, I mean, that's all just part of, uh... Oh, interesting. And then, Liam Hartley's relationship with Judas Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter. Uh... Um, this is just a thing. But I still don't have... Okay, alright, I see. And then I can conclude that Hurtley is guilty. Interesting. Alright, so that doesn't seem reasonable. Um... Jesus, I just, I really don't like the lucky throw. I really don't like the lucky throw. Uh, and so if we take out the lucky throw, then the only person who could have done it is the harpooner. But I can't even go back and visit that dude.
Unemployment and poverty, found at Sea Witch. Uh, but he... was awfully free about talking about this. All right, so I'm, let me just real quick, I'm gonna, uh, oh, there's dialogue to this. Is that, can I go back and talk to, uh, what's his name, maybe? Please escort this suspect. I can, for that's good. Tell me about the break-in. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I, I... I was trying to find some information about my father. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. All right, I'm pretty satisfied, actually. I feel pretty good about this. Let me just look at... None of these have markings on them. What is this? Documents. Conversations. Alright. Alright, here's what happened. Peter Carey retires it's been years he feels safe to start s selling the securities that he stole from a banker uh, years ago before he murdered him alerted by that fact uh, banker's son what's his name um, comes looking starts investigating tries to figure out like where did these papers come from At some point talking to sailors uh he stumbles onto the story that this one dude knows that uh black peter murdered a guy and stole his box of things figures out that that was his dad but the guy who tells him the story the harpooner also figures out what's going on like together they talk about it realizes that black peter has a box full of extremely valuable securities goes to his house uh is welcomed because he's an old friend takes the harpoon off the wall murders the dude with it takes the box of securities in for financial gain this is a uh, cold-blooded, this is a premeditated murder. Uh, it was not in self-defense. Doing it. I'm going. Confirm your moral choice. This is what happened. This is what happened. All right. I'm so curious how the game handles this now. If you wouldn't mind, Mr. Holmes, could you explain it to me? Yes, I As just I, you I just did. Here, Patrick Cairns is the murderer of Black Peter. Why bring me here? Wouldn't it be better if we were out looking for him? But I know where that he will be. be. Futile, as he will be with us in approximately 12 seconds. Oh, damn. Oh. 
Oh, well, if this is your idea of humor. No, I just heard the front door. Prepare yourself. Good day, gentlemen. A young lad gave me a note from Captain Ahab. Am I at the right address? Is he here? Indeed, it is the correct address. But in place of your captain, may I present to you Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard? That means... It means, my friend, that you are arrested for the murder of Black Peter. What? What? A trap? You think you can take me? Yes. Here now. We'll have none of that. And I say that oh, we will. Oh, fuck! Well, it's a good thing that I learned how to... Uh, shoot pistols blindfolded. What? What did I just press? I'm just punch him in the face. Just keep punching him in the face. Is that the deal? Every time I have an opportunity, I should just punch him in the face. I mean, I guess. Whoops. Damn. Okay, that was a quick time event. Punch in the face. <laughs> so weird. Punch. Punch in the face. Okay. It's like a it's like a boss fight. I gotta punch him in the face three times and then press W. Oh shit. And down he goes. Wow. Wow. The frog. Are you alright? Are you able to stand? Ow. Oh my jaw. Gaw. He took me by surprise, Mr. Holmes. Otherwise he would have seen what I'm capable of. Oh, Yes, he was lucky. Jesus. Ah. But you got him. It was remarkably easy. He lost his balance after he struck you. I punched him in the face three times. Boxing, I know. You must have hit him hard. Our fellow is knocked out. Hmm. We should call for a police cab and then take you to the hospital. <laughs> yes, well, no need for a hospital. I would prefer to keep this between us. <clears throat> you know. I probably course, won't have an better. enormous the bruise all over closed. my face tomorrow. Alright, I found 16 clues. I came to a conclusion. I made a moral choice to condemn him rather than uh, suggest that, um, you know, he, he had reason. Uh, I can hold space to check my conclusion. <gasps> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Carnes, professional harpooner. The only one capable of executing such an accurate throw as tobacco pouch was found inside Carey, Carey's cabin. He is a cold-blooded murderer. You have to. You have decided to bring him to justice. We are accepting that decision. You're about to finish the case. Save files for this case will be removed. Press no if you would like to select another moral choice. Press yes if you agree with the choice you've made and are ready to start a new chapter. I am I am so fucking down on this dude. Personality ranking. Justice seeker. 79% of people solved the case the same way. Only 38% made the same moral choice? Whoa, did I miss something? Whoa, maybe I missed something significant. Ooh, ooh, this is, that's, ooh, that is super interesting. Ooh, what an, ooh, okay. Interesting. What an interesting screen. Cool, okay. Um, okay, I guess we'll, we'll it's gonna go right this into an introduction probably. Will be yeah. Good for you, Holmes. Okay. Mm. That's fine. We're just gonna As do your this. friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. My friend he is a bee lover. It's called a murder. Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. 
I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. What? What? What is happening here? Mycroft. Uh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes, perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help. I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. Oh, a band of idealistic terrorists. Okay. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft. And you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much further... Damn! Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. Um. Okay, well that was super weird, but all of the introductions that we have seen so far to cases have been super weird. So that's fine. Uh, what I I am I, maybe the I don't know where the last save point was. That's weird. That's also weird. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. Um. Okay, I could do a Q&A very briefly uh, if there are, like, maybe just a couple of questions that folks have. Uh, then let's field a couple of questions. Um, jet lag. Oh, shit. This is... Hmm. Okay, so jet lag asks if I would like to hear... Uh, thoughts on the adventure of Black Peter versus the original story, which, um, man, I would, uh, I am super interested in that, but I want to go a little bit further because I'm curious to see to what extent this game might, um, Jesus, we're in, we're in Q&A, aren't we? Like, I'm just already there. Uh, we, we could, um, I'm curious to see how the game operates with respect to the, the consequences or, um, the consequences of your decisions, right? It's possible that it doesn't. It, it's possible that sort of like now that we've done this thing, future cases are, you know, very episodic. Um, but I'm uncertain. I think there's a distinct possibility that, like, some of that will come back to some extent. Um, and if it does, then I sort of want to see, like, what happens and what it does. So, like, I, 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 what I'd like to do, I'd like to play through this next episode, the next case, see how that goes. 
And then uh, if it feels like we have left Black Peter behind us, then I'd love to talk about uh, the original story and relationship with the original story. Um, and, and, you know, I'm also, I'm, you know, very interested in looking up sort of more information about the cases. I just don't want to do it while I'm playing the game. Uh, if that makes sense. Um, so I, I would, I'd prefer to hold off on that if possible. Um, okay, cool. Uh, we're going to play a song, then come back. And if there are questions, we'll do a little Q and a, uh, and if there aren't, then we'll just call it a night and uh, and come back in two weeks with more Sherlock Holmes, which I'm excited about. This game is pretty rad. I'm glad I'm playing it. Uh, see you all in a second.